morning, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World, the Off-Grid Project. My little, you won't believe this, my little Harbor Freight Generator. I had it running last night. I um, started it at 10 o'clock. I put gas in it. 10 o'clock last night. It is now 8 o'clock in the morning. And that little thing is still running. I thought it would run out of gas. And um, I left the... Um, battery charger on it last night and left it I thought the thing would uh, would just run out of gas like maybe I had that, that set for two more hours and I figured you know it would just run charge the batteries and then the thing would run out of gas and, and shut off it's still running I, that's crazy that's um that's ten hours this thing has been running with no load I had no idea it could run that long actually two hours with load and eight hours no load just running I cannot believe it so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna set the charger and see how long it'll run um, it's sitting at saying 12.2 volts um, Charge controller is sitting 12.3, and I've got five watts coming off the solar panels. <sighs> Set that and let it run. Put some more power into the batteries. 20 amps. See how long it'll run. I can't believe it. That's amazing. I'd also like to show you it was in the 20s last night. It's already warming up. It's um, 8 o'clock and it's 30, 31 degrees and rising. But look, 68, almost 69 inside and it was in the 20s last night. How nice is that? The tiny house, all the radiant foil and the insulation and the walls, it's holding up. It's holding its heat. Now that is a change from last year. Best seat in the house on a nice cold winter day. Baby cat, are you comfy? Huh? Are you comfy? <laughs> That's your new favorite spot. <laughs> right up in the air. Good overview of everything. I have the Harbor Freight generator running again and I've got the battery charger running and it's showing 90%, 97% charged the battery capacity. I have it on automatic now so it can take it into its own thing uh, safely. And then I've got the charge controller sitting here it's showing 13.6 volts I'm pulling in only 54 watts at nearly 11 o'clock in the morning from the solar panels that's uh, 400 watts of solar panels I put another panel up and we're only pulling in 50 watts so that's pitiful and that's why I'm running the charger the battery charger to top off the batteries and then I'll just keep an eye on how much energy I pull in from the panels and try to only pull out what I'm putting in each day for now because I'm only running on the two batteries down here. The other four, as I said, are going to be put on the Bedini charger once these uh, two good ones are topped off. I do have my baby inverter hooked up. I'm running my laptop and working on videos this morning and uh, using some of that power as well though. Well, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project, looking out at my meadow here. It was not a very productive day, I have to say. I had some visitors, and I was tied up with that for a while, and um, went and got some supplies, um, some gas for the generator, and other necessities, because my batteries didn't really fully top off today. The only things I really did around the homestead today was working on my trying to get the batteries topped off, running around trying to improve my power situation, 
And sorry I didn't take the camera around with me. I really got to start grabbing the camera everywhere I go. And I did a lot of video work today, editing videos. And, oh, I spent an hour trying to get my computer. The, um, the sound quit. It just quit. And um, I couldn't get the audio to to activate and so I spent an hour researching and trying to figure that out I got it working but there has been some talk about my IT skills or lack thereof and I have to say Windows 8 makes me feel like an idiot quite often I'm old school when it comes to computers I could um, I could hack Windows 3 and rewrite the video drivers when somebody accidentally wrote, uh, set the wrong settings and you couldn't get in and view the, anything at all anymore. I learned how to manually go in and hack that. But this Windows 8 stuff that tries to do everything for you automatically, and there I'm useless. I like to have control of my computer. I like to know what's going on and I don't like it to do things without me. And uh, Windows 8 is made for dummies, and has made a dummy of me. So, there goes my IT skills. Anyway, I'm standing here looking out the window as I talk, because it's warm in the tiny house, and freezing, freezing cold outside. It's already at freezing temperature before the sun goes down. So it's, it's pretty cold today. It never did warm up. The garden froze. The garden is finally dead. Um, I gotta grab my cabbages before they get ruined. I don't know if my Brussels sprouts will make it now or not. It looks like they have uh, fallen, actually. And none of my root vegetables really grew at all this year. They, um, it was really cold, then it was really hot, then it was cold again, and we never really had a, a normal summer. But I've heard a lot of people said the same things before. So, well, that's pretty much it, unless I work some more around the house tonight. Um, that's about it for now. The day is done, and uh, I'm back to the tiny house. I'm going to fire up the little Harbor Freight generator, get the little thing going, and continue charging my batteries, which are down to 12.8 right now. You can see the light is... Um, red and orange so it's bordering on the low side let's see what we got here uh 12.6 volts which is really annoying after running and these are the new batteries and there's nothing drawing nothing at all drawing on these batteries nothing and they're warm they're sitting around 75 80 degrees right now probably 70 i don't know 70 to 80 somewhere in there and um 12.6 volts it means they're pretty much empty so I'm gonna fire up the generator turn on the charger and see if I can get these things topped off I got some um, plastic envelope type packages today I'm thinking this time I, I I know Irish Kitty had sent some stuff and said you have some stuff coming straight from China so I'm thinking that's who sent this, because this is from China. Yep, straight from China. So let's see what we got here. I hear a rattling noise, so I'm guessing Baby Cat might be involved here. Let me get a knife. Oh, there's a scissor. Oh, what do we got here? A lot of packaging. What is this? Um, it's all in Chinese. It is hanger hooks for... Oh, for the kitchen. Oh, wow, look at that. For all your uh, utensils for the kitchen. And here's a rattling of something or other. Definitely has Baby Cat's attention coming over here. What do you think, Baby Cat? You hear that? here rattling it is oh it's a cat toy I know these I've seen these before she's already knows look at that she knows it's for her she's not stupid are you 
Huh? We'll have to put this together for you in a while. Where should we do it right away, huh? I know you're gonna like this. All right, we'll put this aside because I got some other packages. All right. She's already interested. And here is another package from China, so I'm guessing it's probably from Irish Kitty. The baby, she knows that's for her. <laughs> Cats have an intelligence, I tell you. They're not stupid. She's already after that toy. <laughs> you want that, don't you, baby cat? Huh? No, well, you want to see what this is? Curiosity, huh? There's another package. What do we got here? I figure out how to open it. Boy, they do rack up their stuff in this place. What? What? Weird. <laughs> it's a melted clock. Well, with the temperature in here, I guess it's uh, quite fitting. <laughs> it looks like a melted clock. It's quite fitting for the tiny house and wheels. It looks like it sits on the counter or on something. It's interesting. I'll have to throw a battery in that later. Look at baby cat. She wants that. <laughs> All right, here, let's get this going for you. There's no instructions, so I have to just do this. All right, what's this? I guess we'll just uh, run around in there, and this goes in here. There you go. All right, baby cat, there you go. Look. <laughs> Forgive the mess, it's a construction zone right now, but if you see all that. Well, she definitely is interested in it. And here's another package from China. So I'm guessing again. Uh, a lot of packing material. Sorry, I didn't open that one on video because I'm letting you watch Baby Cat. She really loves that thing. What? It's okay. She's checking it out. There she goes. And we have, oh, what do we got here? It's a light socket. Okay, so what do we have here? I'm curious. Oh, wow, that is a Wow, look at the amount of LEDs on that. I wish I knew the specs or anything. There's nothing, they don't send any papers. It's all in Chinese. That is a lot of LEDs. I can put that into a lamp that I have. I have a really nice um, floor lamp, an antique floor lamp that I can put that into. Well, thank you. And uh, Baby Cat definitely uh, is happy. She approves. Go ahead, play. It's yours. Look, these things move. See? Yep, we've got hours of fun.
Well, she plays, I watch, we both get fun. Lots of laughs. Well, thank you. <laughs> this is another uh, package. This one looks like a book. Came in the mail. Today was a uh, massive mail delivery day, I guess, all at once. Boy, that one's wrapped well. Alright, what do we got here? Build your own earth oven. Hmm. Alright, I have no idea who this is from, honestly. I keep getting these um, unknown sender things. A low cost wood fired mud oven, simple sourdough bread, perfect loaves. Oh, nice. Hmm. I got some reading to do. Oh, look at the loaves of bread. I've got some reading to do. Oh, wow, look at the size of that oven. It's actually in its own house to protect it from the weather, I guess. Yeah, they got pig shit faced oven. Frog oven. This is funny. Oh, wow, that's elaborate. Wow. Well, some people really put some art into it. History. Nice. Well, um, I don't know who sent it, but this is definitely interesting. I guess I got another project for next year, huh? Really cool. Actually, the bread recipes I'm going to be trying. I wanted to do this. This is the sourdough bread so I'm going to ch be checking this out tonight um, I want to try out the sourdough bread recipe the, the old ways and uh, start baking bread here so thank you